An old school gets a temporary stay of execution. You may remember we told you about the old Julian High School that is days away from being torn down. Well, Jordan Burgess live now to tell us why a court for now has ordered a stop to that demolition. Jordan? I talked with those who want to save the school, and they told me this was a last resort to stop the wrecking ball. But this is only temporary until they have a chance to make their argument before a judge. And we got a look at the old school today where workers continued to remove asbestos from the building, but they won't be tearing it down for at least two weeks. Now, supporters of the Julian School got an injunction on Friday ordering a stop to the demolition. The school has been teaching students for more than 80 years, and some think it still has a few lessons to impart. They say the building could be turned into a number of things to help the community. But those with Dayton Public Schools, which owns the building, say they tried to shop it around a few years ago, but no one had the money. Supporters want to give it one more try. This building can stand and give this community, it can breathe new life into it, make the whole neighborhood glow again, bring Dayton back to life, and give us some pride again in it. We don't need any more old buildings to go. Now, the building is actually on the National Register of Historic Places, but we discovered that doesn't protect it from being torn down as long as federal funds aren't used. Now, that court hearing is set for February 15th. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News.